What's up my ponyos, Andy with Tech Influence here, excited to go over the brand new, newly released Moto G Edge. This is the 2024 edition and I think it is a warm welcome. The Moto G Edge features a 6.6 .6 inch P OLED display, which is gonna give you 144 hertz refresh rate at an FHD plus resolution. It's got a new quick button as well as fast charging and AI features. The camera is a whopping 50 megapixel camera with a 32 front facing camera, a 32 megapixel so front facing camera and a 32 megapixel ultra wide camera. Upgraded to feature the Qualcomm Snapdragon 7S Gen 2 with eight gigs of onboard RAM. It starts off at 250 gigs of storage, giving you plenty to be able to game, to surf, to make content, or just to browse. With that said, before we jump into it here, the Moto Edge is honestly my favorite amongst all of them. It doesn't have the gimmicks like the other one, the stylus was a little clunky, and the Moto G was a little too small for me. This is awesome being very lightweight with a whopping 5,000 milliamp battery and this really cool new action button that kind of mimics the iPhone. This is going to be awesome to be able to add to your dorm room to have as your first Android phone or to be able to have as your daily driver. With that said, this video is sponsored for my channel sponsor, Private Internet Access. If you want to make sure and protect your privacy, your browsing, and your data, getting a virtual private network or a VPN is my recommendation. A little bit more on that at the end of the video. With that said, let's go over this phone. I'm gonna go over some of the main features that I care about, like gaming and taking video, and then we'll show off some of the other aesthetics as well as some of the features. Let's jump into this, show you what you're getting yourself into. Of all of, the, of all of the Moto 2024 edition phones, this has honestly been the most sleek, aesthetically pleasing, and just nice in the hand. It is so light. It's got this nice full leather touch here. It's got really nice chamfered rounded edges. You've got the aluminum chassis and this nice round over. This takes me back to college when I got my first smartphone and it was a Samsung. It was the Samsung Edge 7S. It was really nice having these clean chamfered edges, but I think Moto did it great. With the 5,000 milliamp battery here, you can hardly even tell that it's there. You've got this nice new button on the top left. So if you want to use it as your shutter, you or you can use it as an action button to be able to access your games, take screenshots, you name it. What I like about the cameras here is it's just really clean. It's really large cameras, 50 megapixels, including a 13 megapixel ultra wide. This is going to give you a nice optical image stabilization. And then the front facing camera is really nice as well. At 32 megapixels. It's got an IP68 rating. You've got a nice speaker. You've also got your microphone, USB type C and your SIM port. It does not have the 3.5 millimeter jack. So this is going to be more of your modern phone. But look at that. It looks really clean in the hand. You've got your volume rocker and power button, which are definitely plastic. But I really like this aluminum frame, which is going to give you such a nice ergonomic feel as well as aesthetically pleasing phone. Look at that. It's just nice in the hand. The best part about it is it is a fraction of the price. The fingerprint reader is nice and snappy. It just immediately goes on there. It's really easy to adjust. I really like Android 14 being able to customize this however you like. 144 hertz refresh rate is really easy. It's really nice to have. And it even has a nice built-in game hub, which is great for you to be able to make content, game. It's very nice and customizable. I like the an animations. I, I like the notifications. You can obviously set up your new button. I press the button and it takes me to the Moto app. Scrolling makes it super easy and you can definitely tell with that 144 hertz display that you'll be able to see in really vivid FHD plus. I mean, those colors just look really nice. It's really easy and pleasing to the touch. It doesn't strain your eyes and it can become very, very bright. I really like that. For a budget phone like this, it's really crazy how amazing this operates. Playing on this is such a treat. You can see the bezels here go all the way to the edge and curve all the way down. Playing some mind craft and getting started it just looks really clean with this back being so nice and comfortable i really like being able to play long sessions it makes it for real easy play immediately boots up it just looks super clean we've got that 144 hertz it just looks really good and really nice in the hand i really like that i'm downloading another game along the way you can see that performance does take a hit because i am screen recording but if you were just playing this on your own you probably wouldn't notice such it just looks fantastic Fantastic, as you can see, the colors are super vibrant. 
Mandarin. Really easy to be able to play on this phone. I'm recording, screen recording, as well as downloading games in the background. The Snapdragon Qualcomm chip is just fantastic. Being able to play this sounds and looks great. As you can see, it's actually really high quality, really nice fidelity. Oh man, it looks beautiful. The latest edition of this game has made this so much funner, so much easier to play. Man, what are we gonna do today? Oh, not fall down there. I fell. There's no way up. I'm gone for goods. Oh no. Where are we going, Andy? Don't die. Asphalt Unite came out recently. This is awesome to play. My camera doesn't do it justice, but this looks so vibrant. I have it on the performance mode and being able to play like this is really a treat. It's cleaning the hand. It's not overly hot. You can feel that it's definitely, to the touch, it's a little bit warmer, but having this nice leather pad, leather back makes it really nice. Unite added some extra neon colors, but it's basically the same game through and through. I really like this game. It looks really good. Now moving on to the actual screen gameplay. You can see it is clean. I'm cooking. You ain't messing around. Obviously this is like one of the first games, but that's a fire crushing it. It. Get me extra nitro boost. We don't mess around here. How about you first? There's that picturesque finish. It's super clean. Lastly, it's got super fast charging up to 15 watts. This is gonna charge so fast on this Nomad charging bank. It's called the Nomad Base. It's what I use, it's awesome. Throwing it on there, it immediately starts charging. It's gonna charge at that super fast charge rate. Or if you want it faster with the provided cord, just plug in USB Type-C and you're gonna get fast charging. We're here on location with the Moto Edge 5G to show you guys the video. I'm actually really impressed with its ability to shoot 4K, give you slow motion as well as pretty high fidelity in most situations. Now the two camera array, 50 megapixel OIS camera, is pretty impressive when it takes pictures and it does just as much with the 4K. It does punch in a little bit into the scent to get that 4K, but as you see here, I'm shooting my yard, getting some shots of the peach tree, showing you low light situation, direct light with sunlight, and showing you the contrast here in those different light situations. It's got pretty good stabilization with that built-in OIS. I'm at 0.5X here. You can see how far away I was. That macro is pretty fun. 1X is probably like a 24 mil or a 26. Reaching out to 0.5X, it's gonna give you like a 16 millimeter. It's really nice because it is optically image stabilized and it's gonna be able to withstand most movements here, especially if you're trying to get family members, parties, you name it. Helicopter in the air, and it looks like it's a little too far away, but zooming in, like I said, is nice because the 2X seems natural, but once you zoom in, there they are. They're pretty blurred out there. Lots of digital noise trying to zoom in, only to 6X. There's low light on the 1X. It's not that good. You can see that it's trying to compete. The darks just aren't that good. The back background is blown out and it's not as good as I've seen. But at this price point, I think it's still pretty good, especially if you're just shooting outside. Selfie shot with a lot of sun. It still is able to capture my face. It is doing some optimizing for the shot, but once I get with the sun in my face, it actually looks really good. This is probably a 24 to 26 mil punched in. It's not getting the full, you know, torso. It's basically getting my face. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend this for vlogging. But I think the biggest issue here is zooming in. When you zoom in, you're getting a lot of digital zoom. You only have two lenses. So you basically have an ultra wide and a wide. Shooting in daylight for vlogs is probably the best way you're gonna be using this. I wouldn't recommend necessarily at nighttime or in low light. Privacy and security is integral to my daily life. I actually work as a compliance officer, so having a VPN is super important to my day-to-day -day activities. A virtual private network or VPN is a great way to hide your IP address and safeguard your internet connection through encrypted tunnel. This way it shields your digital life from the eyes of those who are looking to exploit your private information. Private internet access servers is located in 91 different locations. By giving you the option to change your IP address or to choose from all 50 states, allowing you to gain access to websites and services that are not available in those locations. One private internet access subscription covers an unlimited amount of devices. This includes Windows, Mac OS, Android, iOS, and even consoles. Use my link down below in the description, piavpn.com slash techinfluence to get yourself 83% off a two-year subscription plus four months extra free.
Private Internet Access is my go-to here, and I recommend that you check them out as well. Thanks, Private Internet Access, for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to use PIAVPN.com slash techinfluence down below for 83% off and four months extra, your first subscription of two years or more. It's my go-to to protect my phone, especially my browsing history and my data. I really think the Edge is a cut above the rest. It's my favorite of the modal line that came out this year. Definitely check it out. Highly recommend it. Specs are awesome. The gameplay is awesome and it's so much fun to play. Thanks for watching. Andy with Tech Influence. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.